This video is brought to you by Holocasa. Our tool transforms independent local real estate agents to global real estate agents. Create your own profile for free and get contacted by international investors. Sign up with the link in the description. Hello and welcome everyone to our 139th session of Holocasa. My name is Michael and today I'm talking to Dario Castiglia, President, CEO and co-founder of Remax Italy. There was a pioneering figure in the Italian real estate market, having introduced franchising and innovative marketing strategies to the industry in the early 90s. Over nearly three decades, that has played a pivotal role in shaping the Italian real estate landscape. He has received numerous accolades, including being listed in Forbes Italy, top 100 managers and leaders in 2019, and prestigious awards like the CEO Italian Awards by Forbes and the International Award for Good Practices. That was also among the shareholders of the German Remax region. Dario, I am really honored to have you on the show. I introduced you a little bit already, but why don't you use your words and introduce yourself to our audience? Sure. Thank you so much, Michael Franz, for Michael for getting me, for inviting me to this uh, podcast. You said most of it, but yes, my let's say my career starts actually in Canada because I, when I was uh, a young boy. My parents took me to Canada and I continued my studies over there. I eventually even got into doing some business and, and eventually I got into the real estate business. So I spent about 18 years in Canada and around the early 90s, I started wanting to go back to my country, to Italy and looking at the opportunities that I would have in coming back to my country, my original country. And the real estate obviously was my forte. I've, I had been working in the real estate industry in Canada as an agent, as a broker, as an investor. So I, I felt that I wanted to bring something to, to the Italian marketplace that was missing. And it wasn't just Remax. Obviously, that was the brand that I chose to bring to Italy. But it, 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 Remax is a whole philosophy, it is a whole concept, it is a whole business model that in Italy it wasn't it wasn't present and and actually my purpose was to change the real estate market in Italy I have to say the Italian market when I speak to the Italian market most of the European market is quite similar um, and is very different from the North American model offices in in Europe are usually very small they're very broker centric meaning there's usually one person who's the actual real estate agent and then he gets obviously some help from some other people who are at his command in North America already back in 1973 when Remax started it it really changed the business model and it's become the broker is a person who doesn't do real estate doesn't sell real estate he just makes sure that his agents are in the best they have the best tools and the the best environment to do their real estate, to follow their real estate careers. Our offices are much bigger. We have offices up to 300, 400 people, even in Italy. Obviously, in the States, there's large ones and even bigger ones. But we've brought a new vision of how to build a real company. And, and obviously, once you gather enough people in one office, you create a lot of synergies, you create a lot of economies of scale, you you create a lot of advantages for that business to grow and prosper in the marketplace. And obviously, the market share is a consequence of that. We were, were very strong in our markets. And in some country, in some countries, and in some areas, even in Italy, we have over 30% of the market share. Going back to the 90s and uh, fast forward, what has changed from the 90s to now? I mean, you are really a pioneer and give us an overview there, how we can actually even maybe historically think back to the real estate yes. market in Italy in the 90s. When I got to Italy in the mid 90s, uh, and I had been obviously in contact with the Italian market even previous to that, is the biggest differences were the absence absolutely of cooperation. We first spoke about uh, MLS, multiple listing service, which is the norm in North America. And the multiple listing services is, is a is is a way of cooperating amongst the real estate agents. It's a way of putting all the, the listings in one 
one big container. Today, digital. At the time, it was like every city had a, a big book with all the listings of the city, and every agent would be able to show those listings to their own clients. This we brought to Italy uh, back in '95. We brought strategies like the open house concept, which didn't exist. We 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 really changed the real estate market in that way, and still today. Most agents outside of Remax obviously don't cooperate and they don't see the value in it. We see very much the value in it, and that has favored our growth in the marketplace. It's actually interesting that you mentioned that. I also can see that from my point of view, from Halukas, I have these monthly uh, virtual meetups with everyone around and not only affiliated with one franchise. And also, I have a tool where we basically can send listings back and forth, and it's a secure way of sharing your referrals or your listings with someone else. Um, do you see there also not only locally, but also internationally the need regarding cross-border um, um, on both franchise level, but also on agent level? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I always say there is a, a lot of our business is local and global. So local, to say the truth. In which way? First of all, most of your business is going to be local. Your daily business is probably within within one kilometer from your home base or your operational base. Okay, and that's every agent should concentrate on on, on certain areas. And be very familiar with those areas, know everything about those areas, the data, the home sold and so forth. Now, in Europe, we have a little bit of difficulty with uh, finding the data, the exact data, especially. In North America, everything is thanks to the MLS systems. Everything is historically, well, is historic. and, and it's all in the database. And you can go back even 10 years and look at a house and know exactly what it was sold then who it was sold to, who bought it, who sold it, every, everything. You have everything. Now, in, in Italy, you don't have that. And I know even in Germany, I work in the German market. It, it's not that easy to find that data. Agents should concentrate in a certain area to know exactly that uh, that market and be able to serve their clients to the best. And when you enter in cooperation with another agent insisting in the same area, then you're that's what I call full cooperation. Once you have a listing or a client that has interest beyond that area, then we call it a referral. And a referral means I refer a client because uh, as usual, we don't deal with real estate. We deal with people who own real estate. Okay. This is something that has to be very clear. So we're referring a client uh, uh, over accepting a referral from people abroad. And in that case, we sometimes don't do much work because we just refer the client and allow the the person on the other end. And that could be three 300 kilometers away. It could be 3,000 kilometers away. And I believe very much in, uh, in, in that because the world has become very much uh, smaller than it used to be. People travel, they invested in different countries, and sometimes they need help in buying, selling, or renting. And to have a, your local agent who's connected to another agent and where the property is very convenient. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have to work towards that convenience. We have to give our clients convenience because that's what they that's what they like. That's where they see the value of what on the on the commissions we charge. Where Remax has got a hundred and 40,000 agents across the globe. And we are actually the the company with more countries. We're in 115 countries in the world. So there's no company that, that, that has that kind of spectrum. And we find a lot of people that come into Italy. They know us from their own country. They've owned properties back in the States, Canada, whatever. And they're looking for our for our support in that. I was exactly asking or about to ask you this question. What is basically to both agents who would like to join your franchise, but also to the commercial or also residential buyer and seller, what is your value proposition in a nutshell in your market landscape? 
the, the most uh, precious thing we have is the level of uh, of the people. Our people are very entrepreneurial because they're in business on their own, but not by themselves. Because they're the Remax business model allows for a lot of independency of our agents, but at the same time, they are part of a group of people that work together and that allows them to have the best of the two worlds. In in other words, independency, yes, but also teamwork. And, and that allows for a lot of synergies. Cooperation is one of them, but also sharing of best practices. And our reputation is obviously excellent across the globe. Our value proposition is selling your home in the least amount of time at the highest market price. Obviously, we can't make miracles, but we'll by exposing the property to many agents, we probably find the right buyer and also convenience uh, because we, if, if you sell fast and at the best price, uh, the client is satisfied and he feels that he's he's gone through this experience in a short period of time. Selling a home is not a easy experience sometimes, or buying a home is it could be a time-consuming experience. And nowadays, where people have less and less time to devote to everything, finding a company that can allow them to do this uh, faster and easier is is very important. You are very well known for your humongous amount of awards and recognition. What has driven you to stay all the time on top, to have the habit, to keep grinding and to keep pushing. I'm sure you could retire. Uh, what is basically your secret sauce to stay on top of the game and to stay motivated? I, I've been very focused um, on the growth of Remax in Italy, uh, my core business. And uh, throughout my 28 years in this business, in the Remax Italy business, because I, I did work before, but you get many times you get distracted by people who want to, they want to sidetrack you. They, there's just so many uh, opportunities that come your way. So I've always been very focused on, on one thing and is building Remax Italy. And I'm not done yet. <laughs> so my motivation is that I'm not done yet and I don't see an end to it, really. I think that once you feel that you have arrived somewhere, you're done and I'm not done. So I'm very motivated at keeping the, the building in, in growth mode. And I see a lot of market share to be gained in Italy and in Germany now. So that that really gets me going and uh, and it'll keep me going for God willing for, for many more years. The real estate market in Italy, where do you think it is heading within the next five to 10 years? We've had, we've had a good run since 2016, 2015, 16. We had a fairly good run, not as good as many other countries. Our prices have, uh, yes, risen in some cities. Milan has always been the, the city that has enjoyed the most growth in terms of transactions and prices. But most of Italy is still fairly well-priced compared to the quality of life that it, it offers. So I feel that with, uh, with the technology being always a dominant factor in the workplace and allowing for faster and faster interactions, uh, faster connections, where in Italy they're building fast trains, uh, they're building internet itself is going faster and easier to reach also small areas. Italy has a tremendous value because of its geography, because of its place in the world. It's a unique place. We're in the middle of a, a small and we have uh, traditions. We have, it's a very diverse country. So I think real estate is though the only problem with Italian real estate is old and it needs, it needs a restructuring. It needs to be renovated. But that's where the opportunity is to find real estate, which is well placed in beautiful areas, and and this is happening. A lot of foreigners, especially people from from Great Britain, from even from Germany and so forth, they're buying up properties and, and making them better 
especially in areas like Tuscany, but not only in the lakes, the, as you're German and you sure know parts of it is totally German. They sp if you don't speak German, you're not able to talk to people there. I think it's still a great opportunity to invest in Italy and find, I, I've always been told since the very beginning that the most important thing in real estate is location and location. And in Italy, you find some properties that are located in beautiful places and they just need a little care and a little love. With all your experience in real estate, there are so many people jumping into real estate across the world. You have so much of experience in different countries. What is your, let's say, tip or an advice you could give to someone who's right now jumping into real estate and you think this is something which definitely differentiates yourself from the 99% of the others. Yeah. And obviously you're talking about getting into real estate to be a real estate salesman. So not investing, but actually working in the real estate business as a real estate agent. Look, I started my career back in 1983 and that's when I became a real estate agent in Canada. And I have to say, if I were to go back, I would probably do something different not in terms of, of the real estate industry, but how I approach the real estate the, the real estate industry. I, I feel very confident today in advising someone who's starting this career in telling them that they need to join a company that gives them good training. I think training is fundamental. Way back when, I didn't start in Remax. I started with other companies and I didn't get the training that I should have And if you don't have training, you make a lot of mistakes. So you learn on, uh, you, you learn by yourself, but that's, that takes you a little longer. And quite honestly, being a part of a, a company that allows you to get good training and also the, the people around you, this is very important. Finding people who have experience, who are, who, who can teach you because It, real estate is something that you, you don't just learn on, on a book, but you also learn by walking the street, by talking to people, by by actually working in the field. Obviously, I, I'd say Remix is definitely a great way to start in this business, but there's also other fine companies around the world. Shouldn't knock anybody off, but we we definitely offer a good academy. And, and I see young people or even not so young people, because this is a business that you can start really at any time. Because when you have a few years on, of experience, it's even better because you have perhaps a larger number of people and real estate is about people. It's not about homes, as I said, it's about people who own homes or who want to buy homes. So getting their trust is where is where it starts. You're also very active in Germany. Tell us about that one and maybe also what's the difference What's Italy market, real estate market versus the German real estate market? Yes, I work in Germany and I have to say I've been traveling the world thanks to Remax, uh, seeing agents all over the place. And I see very common traits amongst all markets. Everywhere you go, Germany, Asia, South America, North America, clients are the same. They want the same things. They, when they buy, they want to find something special for, their, for themselves, for their family. And when they sell, they want the most amount of money. <laughs> and, and obviously, they always want to pay the least amount possible in commission. That's, that, that's common to everywhere. In Germany, there's differences in markets in terms of perhaps availability of real estate and, and the demand, but that's always changing depending on the economic cycle. Germany is a great market. It's a very wealthy country. There's a lot of expensive real estate, so prices are different from Italy, but clients really are looking for the same thing. Somebody who's trusted, who lets them find the house in the easiest way possible, And, and when he needs to sell it, it's the same thing. They're looking for speed. They're looking for professionalism. They're looking for convenience. I am impressed about your journey. I think you are one of the leaders in real estate, which is mind-blowing, which is has a huge track record Thank you. and is definitely someone who has to be Put much more out there. I learned a lot. You gave us a very inter interesting um, introduction about Remax. What's the differentiation there about the real estate market of 
Italy. You talked about your journey, how you started, starting in Canada and then going back to Italy, applying also the wisdom from North America, because already in the 90s, it was a bit more advanced than in Europe. And also the market drivers, which you pointed out very nicely on in Italy, trends as well towards the next five to 10 years, where is it heading? You also gave us a very interesting analysis and insights regarding the skill sets and also the motivation, which every entrepreneur, everyone who wants to jump into real estate should actually have. It's a people's business. It's someone who wants yes. to sell. And finally, you gave us a very good analogy, but also overview regarding Germany and the common pattern between Germany and Italy. Is there anything you would like to share with the audience, which we haven't touched upon? I'd say this is perhaps the, we always say, is this the best job, the best career you can ever have? Being a real estate agent is, if you enjoy uh, dealing with people, it, it is something that you can do until you're, until you want. You can be 90. I remember when I started in, back in 1983, I used to go in, I was very young and I, I remember seeing in this office, an elderly man, white hair, it could have been my grandfather. And, and I would see him only uh, maybe once a week coming to the office. I never really, really paid much attention. There was a secretary. And uh, one day I see in the board, we're talking about 1983, internet wasn't around. So we wrote everything on the boards on, on, on this uh, whiteboard. And, and all of a sudden I see a, a sale, a, a big sale, uh, like really big. Uh, we're talking about millions. And in 1983, millions were millions. So I quickly calculated how much the commission could have been. I said, wow, that's, that'd be enough for me for maybe one, two years. So I asked the secretary, I said, who made that sale? And he goes, the old man that comes in every once in a while, maybe once a week. That's it. That's it. He used to be a banker. And then he got into real estate. And obviously, he knows a lot of people. He knows how much money those people have also. <laughs> this is a business that you can really undertake at any time. And the more people, the, the better it is. Because if they trust you, then they'll place their properties in your hands. And, and, they'll, and it's easy. You don't do much physical work. It's all up here. Absolutely. So, perfect. so I suggest anyone that, that is good with people, has a good uh, communication skills, And, and obviously works with ethics and because you have to work with ethics if you want to build this career for the future. You can't, it's not a, it's a long-term career. You have to, you have to work with people, but you have to gain their trust and maintain their trust if you want to have success. So working with ethics is my last uh, message to all of you. And unfortunately in our real estate business, sometimes some people are looking more at the short-term gains and they forget about working with good ethics. How can people contact you if they're interested to reach out? They can send me a, an email. I am on Facebook also. I'm on Instagram with my name, Dario Castiglia. Otherwise, they can send an email to management at remax.it. And I'll make sure that I see that mail and I'll reply to them. Perfect. I will put those uh, things into the show notes. And Dario, thank you so much for your time. I'm sending the best regards to Italy. And uh, yeah, we talk soon. Thank you, Michael. Thank you Bye -bye. so much. This video is brought to you by Alucasa. Our tool transforms independent local real estate agents to global real estate agents. Create your own profile for free and get contacted by international investors. Sign up with the link in the description.